One of the things I was shocked about, this is not an American company, Dan. I thought it was an American company. The growth, amazingly, is international. Yeah, we're actually very fortunate. We are a global company, and we're growing extraordinarily fast in the United States. But you're right about international. I mean, two years ago, we started to talk about that it was an objective. And we announced on this call that by uh, over the course of this year, we're going to crest over a million subscribers outside the United States across 190 different countries. So what we do is something that every student around the world clearly needs. And, um, and we're proud of what we do. And it's exciting to see this level of growth. When your stock was at three, do- three bucks, we came here and we, you talked about the reason why I believed was you said the transition to online learning is inevitable. Uh, yes, sir. It's just, I guess you didn't, as you say, expect that a catalyst would come along that was so monumental. Absolutely right. Look, I, I predicted we would be out of print textbooks six years ago, so right. I was wrong. My timing is never right. But just think about it. Imagine a world where 50% of the world's population is below the age of 30. So we know technology is what they've grown up with. And we all know they're gonna need to learn more, more often, more things. They're gonna need to be self-supporting because institutions, governments, educations, their budgets are going down, their willingness to support is going down. And so this is the wave of the future. It's been here. One of the most interesting statistics is, is college admissions were sort of flat last year and a little bit down, particularly in community colleges where people who had to work in order to pay for their college lost their job and lost that ability to get education. But at the same time, the online universities grew 30%. This is the wave of the future and either institutions understand it, invest in it, and reevaluate what they teach, how they teach it, and how they monitor students and how they assess them, or they're gonna lose completely. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.